In his book, Beauty for Truth's Sake, Stratford Caldecott began, begins by saying, no wonder students come to a college education that, expecting nothing more than a set of paper qualifications that will enable them to earn a decent salary. The idea that they might be there to grow as human beings, to be inducted into an ancient culture, to become somehow more than they are already is alien to them. They expect instant answers, but they have no deep questions. The great questions have not been woken in them. The process of education requires us to become open, receptive, curious, and humble in the face of what we do not know. The world is a fabric woven of mysteries, and a mystery is a provocation to our humanity that cannot be dissolved by googling a few more bits of information. As we raise our children and endeavor to pass on to them a Christian inheritance in their education, are we intentionally raising them to ask the great questions, to know the deeper questions, and to ask them in a virtuous way. We regularly assess the content of our children's education. We assess what we want them to think. But have we stopped to ask ourselves whether we are training them how to think? Are we giving them the tools to learn whatever comes their way beyond their senior year? Also, have we considered the model of education that we are employing? Are, are educational models a dime a dozen? Is one just as good as the other? Or is there one that's tried and true, that's been tested and found to be enduring? And are there others that have been employed and found to be a fraud, a farce, a failure within a hundred years of employing it? If these are questions that you've not yet asked yourself as a parent, or perhaps if these are questions that you have asked and not yet found satisfactory answers for, then I invite you to come to Grace Baptist Church in Hartsville, Tennessee on October 30th at 6.30 p.m., where we will investigate uh, some options. We will look at a model of education laid down centuries ago and being used for centuries. Uh, with great success, and we will assess the options that we have in our present day, in, uh, in our town even, uh, to educate our children, to raise them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord.